Hello guys, welcome back to another NASCAR diecast reviews today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing all of the diecasts that I got from my time at Indy yesterday. So, to start off, I'm going to go over the Chase diecast along with Hendrick teammates of Bowman and Byron. Then, you know, just uh, go from there. So, to start off... I'm Start off, I'm going to do Chase Elliott's Napa Auto Parts Atlanta win. So, you can see here, you got Chevy Camaro Z01 front end. Number 9, Hendrick Motorsports, Sunoco Fuel. You got on the hood, the Napa logo is covered with all the green confetti. See, they got the grill on there as well. You look at the side here. Nine Napa Auto Parts, a Shulk. Luminar, Uni First. Something below it. Don't know what it says. Babylon, Kelly Blue Book, Exalta, all those other sponsors. Got Elliot, Napa Auto Parts. Look at the other side. On the top, the nine is also covered with confetti on top there. On the back, Napa Auto Care, Camaro number nine, ZL1. A little bit of a uh, scratches there on the quarter panel. 22 ZL1 Camaro used under license, line on racing made in China. This was made on the 40th day of 2023 on the EL mode. So, very cool looking die cast. I had a I had a car similar to this and it was his basic Napa scheme. I also have this, but it's Napa and blue DEF, so So yeah, there's his uh Atlanta win from last last season. Next let's do his uh 2023 Uni First scheme. So, basically the same thing. You got Uni First Uniform Services Solutions there on the hood. So, NASCAR Cup Series 75th Anniversary. Got 90 Uni First Uniform Services Solutions. Coca-Cola, Luminar, Napa, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline, Exalta, Chevy. Auto parts there on the deck lid, uni first. The other side. Goodyear Eagle. In the back. It's a green and white. Uh kind of like a kind of like a mint green, if you will, with a white paint scheme. Black nine. Black lettering and lines. White 9 on top. 23 Camaro Z01 used on a license. Lot of wasting made in China. Made on the 103rd day of 2023 on the EL mode. So, yeah, that's a this is a pretty pretty cool paint scheme here. All right, next we have his Night Owl paint scheme. I'd have to say this is the the best looking 2023 Chase diecast that I got because I like the paint scheme on here for the anniversary. There you go. The owl, the owl, there, Night Owl, Coca Cola Uni First Luminar. Napa, Kelly Blue Book, Reveline, Exalta, Chevy. Very, very looking, cool looking paint scheme. Follow me to, yeah, that restaurant. Nine of Reveline, Camaro. All black with orange and a light blue paint scheme. 
All right. This was made on the 110th day of 2023 on the EL mode. So this was made a, a week after his uni first paint scheme was revealed. All right. Now let's go over William Byron's 24 Liberty University car. So you got 24 Hendrick Motorsports Sunoco Fuel. Got Liberty University there on the hood, ZL1. Got the hood vents. Get a look, excuse me, get a look at the side here. 24 Liberty Exalta. Got Liberty there on the deck. Where do you see Liberty University there on the back there? Camaro ZL1, Valve Line 24. HendrickCars.com. Yes. So this is 2022 Camaro ZL1. Gives it a license. Made on the 153rd day of 2022 on the EL mode. So it is a navy blue, if you will, with red and white paint scheme. Got a flame design on both sides. I think that looks pretty cool. Yes, I like that flame design there on the 24. So there's Byron's car. Next... We got Alex Bowman's LI paint scheme from last year. So, got the front end here, coming out with ZL1. Hendrick Motorsports in 48, Sunoco Fuel. Got Ally there on the hood. Look at the side. Ally do it right. Got Alex Bowman. Exalta, Valvoline, HendrickCars.com. Do it right. There on the roof and deck lid. Alright, and then Ally, do it right. Camaro 48Z01. This was made on the 132nd day of 2022 on the EL mode. It is an all white with purple lettering, purple and pink lettering, purple number, along with a little bit of a striped design on here with purple, two shades of purple, pink, and a light blue. Also got a dark purple ba back on the back here, it looks like, with a neon yellow or green 48. So yeah, there's... Bowman's primary scheme from last year. Now let's get into the other next gens before I get into the old stuff. So here we have Ryan Priest's number 41 Haas Automotive car. So you got the Ford Mustang GT front end, 41 Stewart Haas Racing, Sunoco Fuel. Got Haas there on the on the hood along with the vents. Alright, NASCAR Cup Series 75th anniversary. 41 Haas Tooling Inc. Got Haas Sony United Rentals Gearwrench RaceChoice.com. 41 United Rentals on the roof fan Declan. Get a look at the other side here. At the back, HaasTooling.com. On the back, along with the sides, got Mobile One, Ford License Plate 41. The Mustang taillights, along with a pair of fake exhausts. This was made on the 159th day of 2023 on the EL mode. 2023 Ford Mustang using a license line on racing made in China. Got 
and has a red, black, and white paint scheme. So, Priest first started racing. Uh, he raced some other stuff before he got into NASCAR, I think. Then when he ran into NASCAR, I think he started in trucks. I think, and then he raced in Xfinity at some times. Then in 2019, when AJ Allmendinger retired once, he was a rookie in the Cup Series and drove the 47 car for a year until Ricky Stenhouse Jr. came to JT Dollery Racing and he drove the 37. Then, so part time last season. In both trucks and cup series. And now here he is driving in the 41. Not necessarily a huge fan of Priest since, well, you all know he can be a bit whiny sometimes. So, Especially if you saw that post-race at Pocono when he attacks Corey LaJoy. So let me see here if I can find Cole Custer's next gen that he had last season here. Gotta be in here somewhere. I know that. Aha, here it is. So this is basically his car from the 41 car from last season. This is Priest's car, but I had the name like that to portray this as why I'm priest until I actually got a priest car. So, and since I have this custom Xfinity Cole Custer car since he's back in the Xfinity series now, I think I may turn this into a custom next gen of some sort. I don't know what which one yet, so... Yeah, I might make this into like a custom 51 car, but it's not going to be Cody Will. I can tell you that right now. It will be one of those part-time drivers that drove the 51 after Cody got suspended from we all know what. So yeah, there's Ryan Priest's car. Now, let's move on to... Old oh, Ty Gibbs' this car, so. This is his uh, number 54 Camry Next Gen. So you got 54 at Joe Gibbs Racing, Sunoco Fuel, along with Sunoco Rookie of the Year. That's what he's competing for. Got Interstate Batteries, Gibbs. NASCAR Cup Series, 75th Anniversary. Huge Interstate Batteries logo. Or not logo, word, wording I should say. So Ty Gibbs. Outrageously Dependable. Mac Tools. Snap-on. Mobile One. Oh, not Snap-on. What am I thinking? Snap-on's for Penske. You got Mobile One. Lincoln. Lincoln. Welders, I think that says. Sherwin Williams. All those other sponsors there. Look at the other side. And look at the back here. Interstate 54 Camry. Tail lights, Toyota rookie stripes. Because he is a rookie this season. I am second. I don't know why they say he's second. Like, I know that's just a sponsor, but... I don't know. Then you got John 316. A little bit of Bible verse there. Toyota trademarks used with permission. Line on racing made in China. Made on the 152nd day of 2023 on the EL mode. It's a light and dark green with a cool lightning bolt design here. So this is basically the same car that he 
ran in the Xfinity series, only it's on the next gen. And that the number is in red, while this is in white. And, and on the hood, it has both interstate batteries and its logo. This one just has the logo. You can see how... So yeah, basically, for the most part, the same paint scheme, just on the next gen. So, yeah. You also got TRD there. So, yeah. Another one of those drivers that I, well, dislike, so. Now, let's get into the old stuff here. Start off with Ryan Newman's car here. So, this is his Chevy SS number 31 for Richard Childress Racing. So you got the Chevy SS front end, 31 and RCR. This is his Wix filters paint scheme. Got Newman there. Good look at the side here. Got NASCAR Spring Cup Series, Sherman Williams, Granger. Does that really say PTC there? Because, well, believe me, it's not on PTC mode. Don't worry. But, like, why would they put that? So, you got Ryan Newman, American Flag, 31. Wixfilters.com. Also got Wix filters there on the deck lid. Look at the other side here. In the back, got Wixfilters.com. Some sort of uh, sponsor there below the tail light on the driver's side. Then 31 SS, pair of the fake exhaust. This is the 2016 Cam Chevy SS. I always say Camaro. London Racing made in China. Made on the 203rd day of 2016 on the EL mode, so. I honestly don't know why it says PTC there when it, it's made on the EL. Unless there's like a business that's, yeah, there's probably a business or whatever. It's a yellow and black paint scheme. Pretty cool. So yeah, Ryan Newman, I believe he's one of those drivers from here in Indiana, I think. I think. You guys will have to let me know again. So, first started out in Xfinity, I think. Uh, in NASCAR-wise. So yeah. Started in Xfinity, made some part-time starts in Cup in 2001. Then 2002 was his rookie year. Driving for Team Penske. Then... Moved over to... Stuart Haas and... Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a break. I'm drawing a blank here. About uh, 09, I think, when Stewart first made the team. I think. And then after that, he moved over to Richard Childress in 2014, I believe. After Jeff Burton was hired. To drive the 31. And then moved over to Roush. In 2019. Then after 2021 he retired. And now Kozlowski drives the 6 car. 
Uh, Newman came back for select amount of races driving for Rick Rail in the 51. And also the 15 too. So, yeah, I think that's what I may make that custom into. A custom Ryan Newman uh, next gen. When he raced for Wick Whip. So, there's Ryan Newman's car. Alright, last but not least, Joss Wise's car. So, this is his 2011 Chevy Impala that he ran in the Nationwide Series. Well, then called Nationwide Series Xfinity Series. This is his tax layer scheme for Junior Motorsports. It's so got Impala, 7. So, TaxSlayer.com, Josh Wise, Nationwide Series, all your spon constituency sponsors there. Got Air Hogs, 7. Yeah, Air Hogs there on the deck lid. And look at the back here, Tax Slayer, and TaxSlayer.com there on the side. Made on the 61st day of 2011. 2011 Impala used on the license. I know racing made in China. On the EL mode. Don't know if I mentioned that. So it is a red paint scheme and then it kind of fades to darker color on the bottom to black. Also got a black roof top. So yeah, I don't know too much about Josh Wise. I think he spent most of his time in NASCAR just in the Nationwide Series unless he made some starting cup. But I don't know. But he shared the seven wide with him and Danica Patrick and some of the drivers, I think, at that time. So, yeah, don't really know much about it, so apologize for that. So, yeah, that's all the diecast I got from my trip at Indy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's just about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.